Um, okay, so I'll talk through the template. Now, this is a template that I start basically every song with, um, you know, regardless of genre. Um, you know, if it's going to be an EDM song or a country song or a metal song, I just can't always say exactly what I'm going to need in that particular project. And I'm often surprised by, you know, what kind of ideas would come up, regardless of genre. You can't kind of limit yourself that way. So I basically start my template with everything that I think I might ever need. Um, that includes all my VST instruments, um, you know, a bunch of EDM type drums, live drum type programming stuff, um, you know, tracks named and routed for acoustic guitar, electric guitar, piano, you know, all types of backing vocals, percussion, whatever it might be. Um, almost anything that I've recorded in the past or been called on to record in the past in any type of song has ended up in this template. And it's properly named, properly routed um, to various groups. You know, I have my favorite effects all in place already. Um, it saves me a, a world of time. And I guess in addition to that, it just tells me that whatever I'm going to do on a given song, uh, I know I have the CPU power to deal with it because effectively I've loaded everything to begin with. So I've already maxed out and, you know, in general, I will tend to sub subtract things from the template as the song progresses. If I know I'm certainly not going to use this aspect or that aspect, I'll delete that part of the template rather than try and add it later. So I've always taken that philosophy, um, which is a little different to other people, but I just find that, uh, you know, if you do this a lot, you will just do the same things over and over again. You're going to record an acoustic guitar, you want to name it, you want to send your, maybe your two mics of the acoustic guitar to a group channel called Acoustic Guitar. You want to have a certain compressor, you want to have a certain reverb. Um, and you just tend to do a lot of the same things again and again. And I find that you might as well just have that ready to go. And if somebody wants to record an acoustic guitar, you're just ready to go. So that's one aspect of uh, the template. The other part of it is it's just, I think, I think it just leads to more creativity, more freedom. Um, everything is kind of ready to go. Everything's set up to record. Um, if somebody has an idea to go put down a tambourine um, in the live room, I have basically a track called Tambourine, you know, and I'll hit record and we're going. And I find, uh, you know, when you're producing artists, they don't want to know about the technology. They don't want to really sit there while you're like, well, hang on, let me just route this into this and I've got to set up this channel. Um, they just get ideas and they want to do it quickly. And I find that kind of makes you really popular as a producer if you can be really reactive in that way and sort of, you know, effectively make the technology invisible. And I think that a lot of that comes down to just being prepared and just being ready for anything.